Hello, pilots. Wanted to touch back base with you again today after the awesome bombshell video from earlier this week and uh, provide you with a little more information. So I'm going to have a video running in the background and I uh, just want to say a brief thank you to Nova Tempest for flying with me last night. And so you'll get to see a little bit of that as I'm talking about the video. Also, uh, big props and thank you to um, Ray Tessier, uh, if I think I'm saying his name correctly. I asked him last, has, last night how to pronounce it officially, um, who is a very, very good pilot on uh, and uh, community contributor and picking his brain on some of this stuff as well. And uh, so we are flying out, and uh, I'm bringing this video because Wargaming officially commented on my video and on the No Clouds mod in general. So in the official forums for World Warplanes, XBK, who is a World uh, Wargaming employee, uh, had uh, a few things to say. Uh, we were talking about it in the Discord, and he was kind enough to go into my YouTube channel, watch the video, read the comments, and give us some feedback. And so I wanted to be able to share that with you today. So here's what XBK had to say yesterday uh, back at me. H0, the guy has a point in saying that it does make it easier to aim when fighting within clouds. Your argument that one can use the mini-map to gauge height and direction is valid too, but that requires a lot of skill and experience while the mod just makes the target more visible. In dense clouds, most players would just be shooting at the target's marker without actually seeing the target. The mod removes that obstacle. So yeah, the no clouds mod is about as close to unfair advantage as possible, but it is not really a cheat and it is not forbidden. So there you go, there's the official word uh, from Wargaming. And uh, so I wanna say a couple of things about this as we go through. Uh, one, you know, I get what XBK is saying here and one of the things we talked about in the Discord uh, as we were kind of going through this discussion. Um, I do understand there are some parts of this that I missed yesterday uh, in terms of, you know, kind of feedback and how this mod is used. You know, I'm looking at this from two angles. One is I wanna dispel the myths about what the mod does and does not do, right? Um, it does not break the game or hack the game in any way. And, and XBAK confirms that, right? If it did those things, it would not be allowed. Um, but, uh, you know, in terms of the advantage it provides, I do not think it provided that much of an advantage. But, you know, XBK makes a good point. Some other players on the forums did as well. Uh, they brought up a couple of um, options or possibilities. One would be dogfighting in the clouds, that uh, if you're dogfighting in the clouds and it's anything more than a simple one circle fight, uh, which I don't think we've gone over yet, but you may know what that is. If not, hopefully I'll do a video on that soon. But a simple turn fight, you know, where you're kind of chasing each other's tail, um, then you know that mod would not necessarily do anything. But the, uh, the dogfight is more complex than that. If it involves variable pitch and people using their rudders, then yeah, you would be able to see them a little more clearly within the fog of that dogfight. And so that would provide an advantage. Now, I haven't encountered that yet uh, in my games or in my gameplay, which is one of the reasons I did not think about it. But nonetheless, I understand that that could be a concern and could provide an advantage as well. And XBK is right. Although I'm not ready to call myself a skilled pilot, I will say, you know, I'm an experienced pilot. I've been playing the game for a long time. And so it is easy for me to keep an eye on the mini map while also keeping an eye forward and be shifting back and forth using that alt key to go back and forth, understand directions aircraft are flying in. Um, and, but I will say on the flip side, you guys saw the video yesterday, even with all that information, all that skill and experience, a bot avoided my dive. So I still think in terms of, you know, turn and burn aircraft being protected by clouds from energy fighters, it's still a very effective uh, mechanic within the game, whether or not you're running the mod, right? So one other thing that was brought up yesterday was bombers, and, and that is true. There is an advantage there uh, on paper for bombers being able to see through to ground targets. And you could see on my video yesterday, there is some added visibility without the clouds there. And I, I would say two things with that. I do think that is an advantage that the mod offers, absolutely. Um, I don't know that it's as common or useful as people might expect. So, um, you know, for example, here on tier five, if I was flying a bomber, you know, the only way that would provide an advantage from a vanilla client is if I'm in the zone alone. If there's any other aircraft in the zone with me, you know, then their spotting is relayed to me. I think it's out to three or four kilometers. Um, and so I'm going to see the markers, even though I don't have direct eyeballs on them. You know, my teammates are essentially spotting it for me. Um, and if I, if I am solo in a zone, that would be the one way that would help. But the other thing is, you know, for some of these bombers, particularly Russian bombers, you know, you're probably doing dive bombing, so you're probably 
within range to burn vision through the clouds anyway. Um, and so it would really just be German bombers that are being played at high altitude um, or U.S. bombers. Uh, and those two bombers would have to be attacking a zone solo to really truly provide an advantage there. Nonetheless, I do admit this uh, mod, like all mods, provides an advantage to the pilot using it. That's uh, without question. You know, I don't think that, uh, and, and Wargaming agrees with me, that that does not broach the level of cheating. Um, it just provides a significant advantage. And, you know, so it's really up to you guys if you want to use the mod or continue using the mod. If you think that advantage is too much, if it makes you feel icky when using it, um, then I certainly understand that. And, and I want to say I commiserate with you in that. Why? and how. Uh, because there are things in this game that make me feel icky that I won't do either because I think they're too much of an unfair advantage. Now the clouds mod is not one of those. But for example, in this match, Nova, who's an incredible pilot and has been playing for a long time, has a specialized tech tree aircraft, the BF 109E, that, that might, and we had a long discussion about this last night uh, with Aratus Air as well, might be the best tier 5 aircraft in the game. And so you can see him right there. He's one passing a specialized 1082, right? Um, and there was no chance for that pilot at all. So, you know, specialized aircraft and high skill pilots also provide a significant advantage within the game client and uh, you know for me it kind of feels like you for me using those so i could easily have a bf 109 e3 i could buy it i could have bought it this past weekend when they were on sale i could have tokened it up to specialize i could have put my 10 point german pilot in it and i could play that at tier five and and there's nothing to stop me from doing that it would provide an in incredibly significant advantage over uh, you know any other pilot in the game except perhaps someone else like Nova that's a veteran pilot running that. So that makes me feel a little icky. So I don't generally speaking do that. Um, and so you know, but that doesn't mean that it's wrong for me to do it. Doesn't mean that it's cheating for me to do it. Wargaming themselves put those mechanics in the game, specialization and skill pilots. Um, and Nova is welcome to do that. I had no complaints last night when he you know uh, queued up uh, his 109 E3. That's that's his style of play, and he's welcome to do it. You know, there's nothing there. Um, that gets my goat from, from him playing. And it's just something that I'm not comfortable doing, right? And so if you are in that position with a no clouds mod, if you're looking at no clouds mod going, man, I just don't like the advantages it provides. It makes me feel icky. Don't use it. You, you know, absolutely. Uh, there is an embarrassing moment here as I ram the... <laughs> The PSH was, I didn't quite get his HP taken off in time, sadly. Um, this was recorded, I think, just after midnight, so I was tuckering out at this point. But uh, nonetheless, if the mod makes you feel icky, don't use it. I, I understand it. I understand where you're coming from in that sense. I just don't want people to think that it is cheating, and I don't want people to think that it is hacking the, um, the client in some way, or hacking the uh, server in some way, or the client in some way, really, um, that provides for this cheating advantage. So, uh, But I do understand the ickiness. I do understand people saying they don't want to use it. Um, and thank you again, XBK, for coming in and you know giving that official word for more gaming, so that people will know that. Um, and so going forward, I will say this: if you don't like the mod, it, it makes you feel like you. You don't like that I use it. You're welcome to say that, um, and uh, I will take that on the chin. I get it. Uh, I get where you're coming from. Um, but if you want to duck in and say it's cheating to use it, that's no longer a valid uh, statement or position to have. <laughs> it's just wargaming is spoken, and uh, the box is closed on that. So um, hopefully this helps you out. Um, I'm going to put on another video a little later this week. Um, and again, a big thank you to Nova and to Aratus Air and also uh, to XBK uh, for the discussion yesterday and for filling stuff in. You know, one thing I will say is, you know, this game does have some really incredible people in it, some fun pilots, some interesting pilots, you know, people who are great fun to talk to and to play with and against. Um, you may notice, you know, with two people in the squad here, Aratus Air is not with us us and in fact we actually played against him later in the match um, and uh, lost pretty handily um, but uh, it's a lot of fun to do that it's a lot of fun to fly it up and because of that the last thing I wanted to share with you before I close out for the day is this it gave me a big idea because last night we were in discord chatting um, I'm recording kind of some background battles as we're chatting about these things and talking about XBK's uh, announcement and some of the mechanics of the game and everything and then Sayuko dropped by who's a, a very good pilot on the Asian server and it just occurred to me, man, that would be really fun. What if I just, you know, drop in one night into the Discord, official Discord, 
and uh, run for about an hour. And it's an open mic night. Anyone who wants to come in can come in. You want to ask questions. You want to give me the business. You want to talk about uh, game mechanics. You want to run a, a match together or you want to do a count in so that we're flying against each other or something. Man, that sounded like a lot of fun to me. And I had a lot of fun with that last night. So we're going to do that probably next week. I'm going to uh, promote a time in advance uh, so that if you uh, want to get there, uh, you've got a chance to do that and join in on the festivities. And, and um, I would encourage anyone who wants to be a part of that to be a part of it. So looking forward to doing that and uh, testing it out, seeing how it goes. Look forward to hearing back from you if you think it would be a good idea. So last thing here, we're at the end plates on the match. And uh, as you can see, Nova just absolutely cleaned up on the map. Uh, with his E3 uh, and his very strong pilot skills as well. And I don't mean that in terms of the pilot in the game. I just mean he as a player is a very strong pilot. Um, and it was neat to see him in action and also to fly it up with him. I also did this to dispel some of the rumors and myths around the Proto Corsair. I know it's not a well-liked plane, especially by veteran pilots, but it has a soft spot in my heart. It's been one of my favorite premiums from the jump. Uh, I just appreciate what it brings to the table. And uh, you can hopefully see some of that background. So Nova knocking down 24 aircraft over 6,000 damage um, and uh, me dropping just a, tw a measly 12 aircraft in comparison right um, but nonetheless having a very good game and, and putting a lot into the match and uh, uh, certainly enjoyed flying with him I've got all those crits, by the way, from the cannons on the on the PF109E. Uh, just a, a really solid aircraft. So I uh, hope you guys had a great time. Um, you know, hope you understand where Wargaming is coming from, where I'm coming from. But again, you know, my olive branch to you. You know, if you if you feel this is an icky mod, if you don't like it, you don't like that I use it. I get it. I understand. I, I will take that on the chin. Um, but please, let's let's drop that it's it's cheating or that it is in some way you know hacking uh, the game itself. It's just not doing those things and uh, that's fortunate we wouldn't want those things to happen uh, because at the end of the day we want this game to avoid those sort of things and have a nice long healthy life together so uh, i will catch you a little later in the week with the next video and i hope you are having good luck and good hunting in the skies